to you, John. I've told you so many times the winter's <laughs> coming. But do you listen to me? You never listen to me. Every t every time I tell you winter's <laughs> coming, I say, John, go out there and put salt on the path. Otherwise, your poor mum, she's gonna she's gonna come in with the milk and she's gonna slip over. And then what's gonna happen? We're gonna have to make tea without milk. And I don't want to live in a world where I have to make tea without milk. Do you know what I'm saying? So like every winter, I say to John, John, for God's sake, winter is coming. And John goes. Yeah, no. Well, I said, well, for God's sake then, John, go out and put some salt on the path so your mum can bring the milk in and we can make some actual proper good tasting tea. And he goes, yeah, right, Dad. And then he, like, and then he leaves and I'm like, where, just, where, where the fuck are you going? Just like, I'm going to go put salt on the path. And I'm like, yeah, you better do, John, or there'll be trouble, mister, I'm telling you. So anyway, uh, <coughs> my wife, John's mum, she goes out, she goes to the shops. And she's coming home, she's on her way home, she's having a right lovely time, she's, at, she's stopped in town, she's gossiped with a couple of her mates. <laughs> and she's heading up to me front door, and I hear a slip, and I hear like a clash, and I'm all like, she's fallen over with the fucking milk, hasn't she? <laughs> so I go outside and I see her there, she's on the path, she's all fucked up, she, you know, she looks like this, and her, her feet are up by her ears, and she can't really do that because she's not flexible enough. <laughs> so, I just go... <sighs> I'm like, that's a waste of good fucking milk, that is. So I walk in the house and I say, John! John! Come here, John! And then John, he like, what does Dan say? He's like, what do you want, Dad? I'm like, John, come with me, son, come with me. Look at your poor mum. You know what that is, John? Because you didn't put any salt on the path. And John said, well, I did put salt on the path, Dad. And I said, John, you didn't. Your mother's left there. She's, practi she's practically dying. And then, like, so fucking, she's led on the path and she's dying. And John sat there with this look in his face. It's all like... And I'm like, you know nothing, John Snow. <laughs> you know nothing. But Lannister always repays his debts. The Lannisters, the La don't even get me started on the Lannisters. They live next door to us. And they just had a conservatory put on their house. So whenever I knocked on the door, I said, hey, who'd you fuck, who the fuck do you think you are putting that conservatory on you? You're making the neighbourhood look like shite. And they said, look, we can afford to do it, mate. All right, we're the noble people. And like you Starks. You're all a bunch of working class scousers, ain't you? And I said, you want to watch your fucking mouth there, mate? I'll come round in and I'll take you. I'll fucking batter you. So, like, one thing led to another and we're out there and I had to draw me longsword. And long story short, the fucker, uh, like, he had me surrounded by a bunch of knights. Um, and it wasn't really fair because, like, I could have had the advantage over him, really. But this, like, pretty blonde-haired boy, nobody wants to see him get hurt, do they? You know what I mean? And then he's like, oh, your family's on benefits. And I'm like, look, it's not my fault that the king is robbing the shit out of me for taxes. You know what I'm saying? And you know what the king spends the taxes on? <coughs> Fucking Joffrey's hairstylist. What do you think of Joffrey? Oh, don't even get me started on that little shite. You know, he would come round, he come round me ass the other day. He goes, hello, Mr. Stark. I said, hello, Mr. Stark. You don't address me as Mr. Stark here, mate. You address me as Lord of Winterfell. And he's all like, yeah, fuck you, old man. And then he goes, he's playing the Xbox with our John. So I said, oi, oi, you little shit, come here, come here. So like, I like fucking pick him up and I'm like holding him like that. And he's like fucking dangling there. And I'm like, listen up, you little short. I know that you want to get with me daughter and then like I'll take him outside and I like show him my wife and I'm like look at what John did and he's like oh miss that's terrible and I said you're damn right it's terrible it's, it's fucking appalling you know and I say to Joffrey I said why don't you fuck, why don't you fuck off so, home so go on like no, nobody even wants you here you know what I mean yeah <laughs>